This is the original Roy Johnson screwy effect. It was produced by produced and sold by Ken Brook. And of course, given the name of Ken Brook shows how very old the prop is. I've used it and I still use it and I've used it for years. The original plastic pot I think was covered in red tape but I can't remember but the little plastic pot got damaged and squashed over the years and so I must admit it's somewhat scruffy although I still use it. Inside there is this dice and a bolt runs through it and a nut put on the end. So the effect is this you unscrew the bolt from the dice and the nut so there there are the actual props as you can see the dice has got a a great big hole drilled through it. So let's reassemble it. Put the bolt back in. Screw it on. There we are. And drop it back into the pot. Now the basic pattern I still use is that um, I used to do lots of tricks with dice and people used to steal them so I, th I thought to prevent them stealing my dice I would <laughs> put a bolt through it. So that was basically the story I use. The top is put black on, back on and I get people to press the top and press the bottom etc etc then having done that when the top is removed and as you can see the nut has come off the other end of the bolt and now rests on top of the head of the bolt. So there is the nut that's missing from this end. And the whole thing can be examined. So that's basically Roy Johnson's screwy um, sometime or other I will get round to getting another plastic pot because I must admit that looks very scruffy. About three years ago at the Blackpool Convention I happened to spot another dealer selling a version of this. Um, almost identical except that it didn't use the dice in the middle of the bolt. It had a piece of brass tubing. As far as I recall, the method was exactly the same, or oh, it was a much slimmer nut and bolt and pot. It was very, very nice, I will say that, but to my mind it missed the, the wonderful thing of having the dice on the bolt. It used a piece of slim brass tubing that slid over. So, in my mind, it wasn't as good because it missed out on the, the wonderful thing of having a a dice and the fact that you could gear your patter towards the dice. So far as I know no credit was given to the originator but I may well be wrong I don't want to cast up aspersions when I shouldn't do. This is the original Roy Johnson screwy and you can still get it I looked it up on the internet this morning there was one version available at 30 quid another one from another dealer second hand it was at 18 quid and another version was at £12. Altogether, it's a very nice item. Wow.